with their season rapidly going down the drain, are the Columbus Blue Jackets about to make major changes? There is a long list of things that have gone wrong in Columbus. Uh, I think we're just going to start at the top. Let's go from there. You know, you've got John Davidson as the GM. You've got Yarmo Kekalayan in there. You know, they're kind of like the one-two punch that's running the show there. And unfortunately for them, you know, I'm sure they had high hopes for a lot of these guys when they made some of the acquisitions that they did, but it just has not worked out. Um, you know, you had the basically the catastrophe that was the bringing in Mike Babcock. Uh, first of all, when that was announced, everybody basically fell off their chair and said, what are they doing in Columbus? You know, and then what happens happens and then Babcock's out, you know, and then all of a sudden you scramble in, you're like, what was it, like a week or two before the season? And now they're, you know, scrambling, they got to bring in a new coach. Uh, the Johnny Hockey acquisition, it's been a major bust. Um, I watched their last couple of games and nothing for nothing, you know, he kind of looks disinterested out there. You know, he hustles when the puck's around him, but when the puck is not really coming to him or around his little circle, he just doesn't seem to be that engaged. Um, Patrick Lyon, a major bust. You know, they gave up Dubois, who at the time they couldn't get rid of him fast enough. But, you know, I'm sure they thought when they bought Lyon a in, It'd be more than what they're getting out of him. And right now, he's a healthy scratch. And to be honest with you, you know, with his reputation as kind of being a bit of a diva and he doesn't really play that much defense, I don't really know that there's going to be too many teams. Maybe you're going to have a handful of teams around the, around the trading deadline that are going to offer you like pennies on the dollar for him. Maybe a team, you know, the Devils, Colorado, one of those types of teams that thinks maybe one guy can, you know, get hot for six weeks and they can get some scoring out of him. Uh, Ken Johnson, another recent high draft pick. He was benched, and then they had to send him down to Cleveland in the AHL. I am sure when they drafted him a couple of years ago, this is not what they thought would be happening. Um, he's just having a rough go of it. You know, I know it takes some time for these kids to get used to it. You know, the other day I heard somebody on the NHL network said Guy Lafleur was terrible his first three years in the league, and look how it turned out for him. So, you know, maybe some of these kids, uh, it is going to take a little longer for them than it takes other guys, but, um, you know, you certainly didn't want to see him sent down to the AHL at this point of his career. Uh, Cole Sillinger looks like he's taken a major step back. He kind of looks like a shadow of himself. You know, he looked like a kid a couple of years ago, he was, uh, you know, a mid-first round pick, and then he had more games played than anybody else from his draft class. It looked like he was on his way to being a superstar, and then, I don't know, it's like they pulled the plug on his uh, abilities. I, I just, watching him, another guy, you know, he kind of floats when the puck's not around him, and that was not his game last year. He was, you know, all over it last year. So, again, he's another guy that they're going to have to figure out. You know, the coaches, they just bought in a brand new coach this year. You know, in my opinion, you got to give this guy at least this season just to see how does he react to all of this stuff. Maybe this is, you know, not you're going to ever say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but maybe this is one of those situations. If they can get through this season, you know, maybe the guy learns a bunch of lessons and next year they can turn it around. Um, you know, Again, you had a lot of decisions coming from the top. You know, J.D. and Kekalainen, you bring in a Gaudreau, Babcock. Some of the draft picks just haven't worked out. And when you look at the standings right now, they're barely ahead of Chicago and San Jose. And those are two teams that are struggling mightily. So I've got to wonder, you know, I don't really think they're going to make a coaching change. I think if somebody would take Line A off their hands, they would run to the podium to announce that deal. And I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, a guy like Johnny Hockey gets moved at the deadline. Maybe maybe the Flyers offer him pennies on the dollar, and maybe, you know, Columbus decides they've gotten everything out of him that they're going to get, and, you know, maybe they can get a first-round draft pick for him. I don't know if you could get that for him. I'm assuming you could. Um, Line A... I, I see line A, you're going to get like a third rounder for him. You might, you know, be able to trade. He's already been traded for another malcontent when they traded him for Dubois. So maybe they can find another guy out there, you know, one of those Jonathan Druin types 
who doesn't seem to be happy anywhere he goes, you know, and then he can go somewhere, catch fire for six weeks, maybe help a team in the playoffs. You know, a couple of the guys that they did bring in, you look at Ivan Proporov, he's their leading scorer as a defenseman, and he's only got 12 points. You know, Boone Jenner, the guy can't do it all by himself. He's got 11 points. Wierenski's got 11 points. Adam Fantilli, you know, listen, the kid is going to learn a lot of lessons this year. That is for sure. He is going to be probably matched up against a lot of top line guys. He's probably going to see a lot of guys doing things to him that he never thought would happen. But again, he's a young kid. And, you know, you got to say to yourself, he's only got nine points in 19 games, and he is a minus seven. But when I watch him out there, he never, never stops hustling. He always, always, the other night, they were getting blown out late in the game. They had him out there. The kid's trying his hardest. So, you know, I look at him and I think to myself, okay, down the road, this is going to be their captain. And, you know, hopefully it's something that he's still there when they can turn it around. You never want to see it where a guy that you drafted this high takes off, you know, maybe like six, seven years into his career. So we're going to see coming up, you know, they've got some tough games coming up. Actually, you know, they're going to be playing Chicago in their next game. So that's going to kind of be a litmus test to see, you know, can they at least beat Chicago? Then they've got Boston coming up, Montreal. And then up oh, here, we got a big one, Ottawa, December 1st on Grateful Dead Night. So I'm sure right now the Columbus Blue Jackets are saying, you know, what a long, strange trip it's been. But at the same time, they're going to need to figure this out. They are only 20 games into the season. you got another 60 games left to go. You cannot, you cannot stay at this level. You've got to improve at some point. So if you think the Columbus Blue Jackets are going to make some major changes, let me know down in the comments section. And as always, please like, subscribe, and let them know you're out there.